Hey, hello everybody and welcome to Let's Build a PvP Game. Um, so, recently I've been having plans to build a PvP style game. And I have not really thought of a name of it yet, but I've thought of a kind of a cool idea. And this is how it goes. So, have you ever watched like games like Ultra Hardcore and the Minecraft server? And it's pretty cool, you know, it's an open PvP world. And anything can pretty much happen. Well, I kind of want to make one of those games. But I want it to be colliding with um, a game like The Walls, where pretty much after a set amount of time, it's not forced PvP, in The Walls case I mean, um, but it's PvP after a certain amount of time. And uh, my idea is that when it's an open world, it's just sort of a standard ultra hardcore style where if you find a guy you kill him. Although, after I think about half an hour, my plan is I want every single person to teleport into an arena where it's forced PvP and pretty much the winner comes out. So you have half an hour to prepare in an open world and you may not even have the chance to get into the arena if you're not careful and end up finding someone. And it's going to be quite a small place as well. And my plan is it's going to be maybe about a 300 by 300 space area, which as I said isn't that big. But I mean it's going to be a maximum of 8 players from about 15 to 30 minutes depending on what game you're going to choose. So I think I think 300 by 300 is a good enough space. But I don't know, maybe I might extend it later on. Um, although, what I want to do first of all, is I want to practice a little something. I want to try and make spawning cells or not something like that. I'm not quite sure what I want to call them. But the idea is that you step into your cell and then the game creator uh, presses the start button and when you're in your cell the, the game kind of recognizes that you are then a player and then it sends you to the according spawning position um, in the map instead of in the actual spawn point if you know what I mean. Uh, so here's my plan. Hmm. Let's see, why don't we get some sticky pistons and some glass. Um, um, for the sake of this tutorial I will make it out of wood I guess. And I'm also going to need some uh, red some stuff. I obviously want a pressure plate. Actually, just so I can test out with items, I'm going to use a wooden pressure plate. And we will... Uh, redstone probably be quite important. And of course, a uh, command block. Um, what is it? It's give them, um, say, 5, 4, 5, 6, 5. In, in my Minecraft game, I would forget that. Uh, I think that's it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So let's get started on this. Um, so, what I want is I want a sticky piston like this. And another one. No, no. Wait. Yeah, another one there. Like that. And uh, the idea is that we're going to be having a pressure plate there. And this is not going to look as the most pretty thing in the world, obviously. And um, this is just basic concept ideas of it. Um, I haven't really thought this through, but um, I'm sort of thinking it through a little bit. Um, okay, so if I do that, and then obviously we'll have some sort of like lip there or something in the actual thing, but for now we'll leave it like that. And uh, what I want is that when you step on this, these shut down. Uh, so there's pretty much no way of getting out once you're in there. But that's okay because you'll be teleported when the game starts and you won't be going in there till you're starting the game anyway. Um, so the pressure plate is there. So one thing I could do actually which may work is <clears throat> I could do that. And then, oh yes that would work quite well actually. Yeah, So if I do this then that uh, will activate that piston when the pressure plate is stood on. And then simply, I can just do an inversion thing like this. Oops. And then I could do that. And then I could just do that. And then that will activate both pressure plates. And yeah, see, the problem, the problem is that they're both, they're not instant to like, at the same time. There's just like slight, there's a slight delay in that one. I'm not sure why. Okay, well, you know what, we'll leave it for now. Um, actually, wait, this may not work, but no, okay. I just know that things like that worked in the past. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so that's quite simple. Um, 
and then we can simply just seal it off again like this Does that work yeah it works yeah just make sure I don't cut anything off yeah okay that's cool so we can do that and oh the cool thing is then they would be able to tile you know I could have another one right there that's kind of handy okay now for the um, for the command block no this is kind of weird now wait let's see let's say um, we'll build another one right here and because um, I need I need two side by side to sort of compare them let's do that then how do we do it we did the, 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 that right yep yeah. yeah okay yeah got it Uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> cool. And uh, then obviously we did this. There we go. Nice. Okay, cool. That's what I want. And then just obviously we'll seal this off very quickly. Oops. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, right. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. There we go. And well, you know what? We'll just do this. Okay, so my plan is that if I uh, get an item and uh, for sake or for the sake of this uh, video, we're just going to pretend that's a person in one of the cells. What we want is for when the person who is the host of the game uh, he presses the button and that starts the game and that teleports all the players. So we need to be able to make uh, the game detect whether someone's in this or not, and obviously we can do that using this um, on redstone signal. And um, the immediate thing that comes to mind, which may work actually quite well, is what oops, what if we uh, get a piston and do something like that? Ah, yeah, that works well. Okay. Uh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. And we do that. Okay, so pretty much what will happen is um, that this block will connect to this. So if we add a signal into these uh, then it will be able to detect which ones are which uh, like which ones you know are um, have pe people in them and who, d who don't have people in them okay so let's uh, for example set this to time set day because that's the probably the most simple command there is and um, We'll give this one, uh, give, I've forgotten how to do these, give, is it give at P, you, yeah, you, yeah, it's give at P, um, we'll just say, I don't know, 46, you know, I'm not, I've forgotten, is that, is that TNT? That's like the only one I can remember that has some use, I'm not sure, maybe wrong though. Okay, so let's get a button. And we'll just extend this uh, current out to here. Hopefully it'll still reach. It should still reach. Okay. So, according to this, uh, this will not give me anything. It uh, won't give me whatever item that it is uh, I've set. Although it should um, set the time today. Or, well, zero. No, oh, wait, that was a problem there. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You probably all noticed that. My mistake, sorry about that. Okay, so let's see. Yep, okay, so it's set time to zero, so that works well. Now, what if we have... Well, I'll, I'll remove the glass just for the sake of the tutorial. Because um, I'm going to have to get in there a bit. So let's now see. This should give me whatever item I set in there. Oh, it was TNT. Cool, so yeah, so that did both. And then I'm guessing if I remove this, but just for testing purposes. Yep, yeah, it only gave me it, but it didn't set the time. Okay, so yeah, that works very well. And obviously in the actual one, instead of um, these being, you know, give me 64 TNT or set time set day, it um, it will be like teleport me to a certain point in the map. And um, also I'm thinking I might also make it so that uh, when the everyone gets teleported into the arena, it will reset the time today. And also when the game starts, it'll set the time today. As in, when I say day, it means it pretty much starts it from the moment the game classifies it as day rather than from night 
um, which is pretty much the sunrise in the easiest terms really and um, so I think that was that was quite a successful uh, little thing we made there and you know obviously in the actual thing we'll make it a little bit more prettier we'll uh, add some nice aesthetics to it but for now I think that's uh, they're pretty good spawning cells um, and obviously at some point we're gonna have to create um, the host one where he'll be able to start the game when everyone's in the cells and uh, so yeah that's good that's pretty good um, so tell me if you like this idea of the series tell me if you like the idea of the mini game thing or whatever it's gonna be I haven't really thought of a name for it yet but all I know it's gonna be a PvP game um, but you know as I said hopefully it will end up quite well so tell me what you think of all this and uh, thanks for watching see you later